Hey there, guys. Welcome back to another video with me, Ben Rogajan, aka The Seattle Data Guy. Today, I want to focus on answering the questions of what is a data engineer? Now, depending where you are in your career or if you're still at college, you may or may not have even heard of the title of data engineer. So I kind of wanted to demystify the role, talk about what it is that we try to do, and I wanted to kind of wrap that all up in about a three-minute explanation. That way, you're not stuck listening to me babble on about the various things that data engineers do. So let's just kick this off by starting out with answering the question of what are the goals of a data engineer? From the highest of levels, really all data engineers do is move data from point A to point B. But it's really not that simple. Our goals are so much more than just you know, taking data from system A to system B. A data engineer's goal is really to take complex data sets, often from an application or from some sort of third party tool like Zendesk or Salesforce and process it in such a way that makes it super easy for analysts and data scientists to access, analyze, and utilize. Not to mention the fact that there's all sorts of new ways we can kind of manage data and deal with data as far as things like streaming data and real-time analytics. The thing about data is it can come in many shapes and forms, and we often need to develop some sort of core layer of data that's easy for really anyone that maybe doesn't necessarily understand the complexities of the business logic behind the data can come to you know something like a data warehouse or a data lake and easily understand what data is being processed and what data can be utilized from all the various tables or sources that exist. For example, you can have data like log data or call data that's not very structured, that can be very difficult to work with. You might have to do a lot of parsing or cleaning of that data to make it more into a tabular format. This in particular can be very difficult for analysts who are more skilled in the world of SQL and dealing with very straightforward tables. To add to that fact, a lot of data these days from applications come in very unstructured formats. If you've ever pulled data from Asana, you'll know that there's a lot of nested information that kind of exists all throughout the various objects that Asana has. This means it's not very easy to actually analyze the data inside unless you're to use some sort of third-party tool or have cleaned up the data ahead of time. After processing and cleaning up all that data, we'll often create what we call kind of that core layer of data. This is often what we'll refer to as like the source of truth uh, or some sort of base layer that we should always be able to revert back to. As far as regardless of what transformations happen, you should always be able to tie that data back to that source of truth. Another goal for data engineers is taking all of these various data sets and data sources and trying to integrate them across systems. One major problem that you'll often deal with is that Third-party applications and data sources don't often all talk to each other. So you often need to create some sort of way of creating integrations across various systems. And this is often another role that data engineers could play. Having those connections make it much easier to do analysis in the future because you can tie all that data together. And finally, to kind of wrap up this three minute or less conversation, the other big thing that data engineers do and what kind of makes a data engineer a data engineer is having to develop performant data regardless of how big it is, just because of the sheer size of information that exists. Whether it's IoT data or just general streaming data, you have so much information that in order to analyze it and in order for the analyst to even approach it, it needs to be developed on some sort of platform or data storage system that can actually process and compute all that data effectively. You don't want your data scientists and data analysts waiting two days for some sort of query to run. Data engineers don't just move data from point A to point B. They focus on developing data layers that are easy to access by analysts and data scientists that are also highly performant and easy enough for pretty much anyone to connect to with any third-party tool, whether that be something like Tableau or some other form of analysis tool. That's kind of our goal, and that's kind of what a data engineer is. We really are focused on just being that middleman between application data and the real world and data scientists. I think it's kind of wrapped up in this one meme. I hope you found this helpful. And if you did, please do me a favor and hit that like button. So thank you so much for your time. I really do appreciate it and see you next time. Bye.